My name is Dinah Burnside and I am a senior at Cal State Dominguez Hills. I dance because it is an outlet to express myself. I love to dance. Um, it allows me to use all of this energy that I have and express it through dance and like I said, have fun. That's the most exciting part about dance is that I get to enjoy myself. Also, I'm allowed to be an artist and I'm also being physically fit and it's ultimately great for my well-being and health. My name is Eric Kiksta. I am a kinesiology major and a actually dance minor here at Dominguez Hills. I am a guest choreographer for the uh, spring dance concert of 2018. I am actually choreographing a tap piece. What I really like about it is how, well for one, when I started I was really able to, I was able to pick it up really quickly, but what I enjoy about it the most is how you're actually able to use it to your, to like, your own creativity. I know that's easy to say with any other kind of dance with the way you move, but I feel like this is a little more like, not just the way you move, but what you're actually creating so that other people can hear. So it's not so, so much about what you see, but also about what you're hearing. And I feel what I really enjoy about tap dancing is just seeing that each tap dancer that is exposed to it, you know, they're able to pretty much create their own music, you know, whether they're improv whether they're actually like doing movement to a song or, you know, musical theater, you know, it's just, I feel like a lot of it has to do with the music that they're actually creating. Hello, my name is Santino Bustos. I'm a senior here at Cal State Dominguez Hills, 22 years old. I dance to have fun. I don't dance to express. I don't dance to impress. I just dance because it's a passion of mine. I strive to perfect in a way. So I love dancing because it challenges me, not only physically, but mentally. And it's just a, it's a fun way to bond with people. My name is Annalise Pansloff. I'm a political science major and a dance minor. I'm a senior here. It's my fourth year at Dominguez Hills. And I dance for many reasons. I dance because it's quite literally the best feeling ever. It feels like what I'm supposed to do. And I just really love the energy in when I take class and being around other dancers and also just like the energy and the magic on stage. It's my favorite thing. My name is Frida Mendoza. I am a junior here at Dominguez Hills. I'm majoring in political science and minoring in women's studies. I am part of the department of dance here. The reason I dance is because I love music and I can't sing or make music or play an instrument, but I can dance to the music I really, really love. And I just found my way to express myself. My name is Kalam Chen, and I'm a senior, and I'm also an international student from Hong Kong in Dominguez Hills. And uh, the reason why I dance is because I was doing it since I was really little, and it's the only thing that I've always been so passionate about. Um, also, I feel like dance can express my emotions so much better than words, especially after I moved here that English is my second language. I'm Grace Windsor. I'm an international exchange student from London and I dance because it allows me to express myself, to show my inner emotions through movement and it's just, it makes me feel alive. So I love dancing. Uh, my name is Leah Metz and I am choreographing the first piece in the show, Welcome to the Show, which is a little intro on how to be a great live performance audience. Uh, the inspiration for my piece uh, came last semester. At the beginning of the semester, the uh, CSU DH Department of Theatre and Dance put on a production of um, Blood Wedding. And I sat there in the audience and watched people texting on their phones and talking to each other and standing up in the middle of pieces and basically generally disturbing the people around them. And I thought, well, that's not really their fault. You know, maybe they just don't know. I mean, a lot of young audience today are used to movie theaters and things like that. So I said, okay, well, how can we find a way to inform them without being preachy about it? And I said, okay, physical comedy. I think people will enjoy that. My name is Skylar Gage and I'm a senior here at CSUDH. Dancing is everything. Uh, most dancers can't stay sane without dancing. Uh, it's physical activity, keeps you healthy, limber, uh, but it's also a coping mechanism. The inspiration for my piece, uh, Heaven's Gate, is actually based off a cult. I think that happened back in the 80s. Uh, happened in San Diego, it was a mass suicide. And these people believe that 
Uh, if they had took their lives at a certain period in time during Haley's Comet, that they would get transported into their new formed bodies, Heaven's Gate. Uh, so I took the idea of what would happen if they were to die and actually, you know, they were right. You know, we all think they're crazy, or some of us might think they're crazy for doing this, but what if they were right? So I just kind of flipped it on its head. And this is the sequel to what they did. The inspiration for my piece is to create a musical theater number that involves as many different levels and experiences in dance, in acting, in singing, and bringing them all together to create a piece and give everyone an amazing experience. Um, it says a lot with, a, with our personal journeys, not only my own being the choreographer, but I've included the personal journeys of the dancers and, and singers and actors in my piece as well. Um, so that's the inspiration is to cohesively help everyone with a learning experience. <laughs> the way I put in my concept in my dance is um, the diversity in my dancers because we all have different religions, we all believe in different things, we speak different languages, we all have different skin color and most importantly we all have different stories behind who we are today. This particular dance is a whole new world for me. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I don't have as much experience when it comes to choreographing musical theater, so I fumbled through this one a little bit, but my dancers have been patient and helpful. Uh, but as a choreographer, you want to have as many different tools as you can possibly have in your toolbox when it comes to choreographing. Uh, so that way you can create pieces that are dynamic and interesting. The most challenging thing about choreographing is knowing when to stop. Knowing when your piece is ready for viewing. It's hard, especially in a genre that you're not familiar with or you don't have a lot of experience in. Um, and that's what makes the faculty and staff so important in this process is to kind of help you guide through that. The process for me when choreographing my dance is to honestly just let it take, take over me. Uh, I like to listen to the music for months, uh, perhaps a year, maybe even, before I even start to choreograph something. I like to let it sink into my body so I can manipulate it better, so I can understand the beats and the boops and cats and everything that's going on within the music itself. That way when I choreograph, uh, I just freestyle it. And after freestyling, you know, I can just put things together and eventually get an eight count or two. And yeah, that's how I do things. The most challenging thing for me when it comes to choreographing is actually synchronizing everyone and getting everyone together. Um, choreographing, again, like I said, it's just freestyling for me, but making sure everyone connects well as a group, as a unit, making sure everyone's angles are right, that's the most challenging thing because you can teach someone all day your eight count, but if they don't look the same as you, if they don't look the same as everyone else around you, it's gonna look sloppy and it's not gonna be that entertaining to watch, so. I have all these bits and pieces of the choreography, but when putting it all together, that's the challenging part for me. I don't know, I, I be, I'm stuck and then I have to overcome that and then I take one step at a time. So I put one piece of the puzzle together and then eventually I'm finished. The most challenging thing about choreographing, I feel a lot of it has to do with what you really want to see. Because I know for me, not being as technically trained as I saw a lot of the other, a lot of my other classmates, I feel one of the most challenging things was teaching my dancers what I, what that exactly that, what I wanted to see. Because I know I might not have been able to execute it as successfully as I would like, and in that, I feel my dancers would execute the way what they saw from me. And in that, I feel the challenge was actually cleaning it up so that I could see it how, what I had in mind, and teach, and kind of like teaching them, you know, showing them the image, helping them see the image that I envisioned. The most challenging thing for me when choreographing is trying to choreograph partner work. It's really difficult to choreograph two people when I'm just one person, obviously. Um, I have to sort of imagine it in my head and think, okay, well, when they're doing this, this person will be doing this and sometimes that's really difficult and it doesn't work a lot of the times but sometimes it really does work it's like oh, yes. like most of our um, choreographers have their own interpretation of what revolution is for them so you have people who's focusing on social justice you have people who's just changing um, what to expect because it's, it's new to actually have a musical theater piece in the dance concert So that alone is another step of, I guess you can say, uh, revolution. 
My time here at CSUDH has been life-changing, amazing, and very um, a lot of growth personally. Um, I wouldn't change it for anything. I wouldn't go to any other school just because it's so small here and they really focus on you and um, take er all your needs into consideration. They don't just leave you behind. I feel like I've really like met a family here that I'll take with me back to England and they've just helped me grow so much as a person and as a dancer. And I don't think I would have got that anywhere else. I've loved my time here and thanks to them. I feel really great about the time I spent here. I definitely um, did as much as I could. I made, met a lot of people and I made a lot of really great friends, lifelong friends. I took a lot of trips while I was here. I got to do more than I really thought I would. Um, I got way more out of this experience than I thought I would. And I really feel great about the time I spent here. My time spent here at CSUDH has been very rewarding. Um, I have experienced many ups and downs. However, I have learned so much about myself and I have seen my growth from the start until now. And I can honestly say that I have grown a lot and just by being here and as a student has definitely made me who I am today. I would just like to say thank you to everyone who's helped me on this journey. Uh, everyone who's been here since I was a freshman, uh, sophomore, junior year, and to now all the teachers, staff. Yeah, thank you guys. You'll help. My time at CSUDH has gone by very quickly. I do feel like my new student orientation happened last semester. <laughs> um, I've been involved in a lot, so when you're having fun, time flies, right? Um, thank you so much, audience, for coming to our show. We've all worked really hard on this all semester, and yeah, we're getting a grade for this, but no one did this for the grade. Everyone really put their heart and soul into their dances, and the dancers too. We, this means a lot to us, and dance is really about sharing, and so we're all really excited to share this with you. Just thanks for coming and taking an interest in what we're doing. I would like to thank my parents for supporting me in my dance career because it definitely goes against my cultural and gender norms. Um, it, I think it's expected that I dance Latin, salsa, bachata, or something that goes with my gender, like nice and pretty, but I do hip hop, which is very like ugly and hard and ah. <laughs> uh, I'd like to thank Santino Bustos for training me since the very beginning. He took me in and under his wing since my freshman year and majority of my growth as a dancer, I owe it to him. Enjoy the show, be open to the different things that we're going to explore um, and just immerse yourself into the different places that we're going to take you. One thing I would like to say to the audience uh, watching this show is to just enjoy the show and if you have a passion, go for it, strive for it. If you like to dance and you're not sure, hopefully this concert will push you over the edge. And, you know, jump in that rabbit hole and just go for it, so don't be afraid. My dancers, including myself, we invest a lot of emotions in this dance and that's one thing we really want to share to the people that watch us. Just enjoy my piece, uh, cut me some slag, it's my first time in choreography. Um, I don't know, just enjoy it. Uh, I hope they can feel something because it is it is, does come from a personal point of view and from my life, so I hope I, my goal is to reach out to the audience and maybe connect because I know I'm not the only one that goes through these struggles and questioning everything in their life.